Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to check SQL Server port, and there would be a couple ways that we'll be using how to find SQL Server port. One is how to check SQL Server port using SQL Server Configuration Manager, and number two, we'll be using T-SQL script to find SQL Server port. So um, the first method right here, uh, using SQL Server Configuration Manager, keep in mind that if you wanted to use this method, you need to remote into a server where your SQL Server instance is installed. So I have a SQL Server instance installed right here on this server called SQL Test. As you can see, I'm interested to find out what port my instance is using SQL Test, and my instance name is SQL Test. So I'm interested to find the port of SQL Test. So let's go ahead and uh, use SQL Server Configuration Manager. I'm going to go ahead and open SQL Server Configuration Manager. As you can see right here, this is my SQL Server 2014 Configuration Manager. Let's go ahead and run as admin. Here are the services. If you have more than one SQL Server is in installed on this particular server, then you will see the SQL Server one instance and the other instances right here. In order to find SQL Server port for each instance, you need to go in SQL Server network configuration right here. And all the instance that's installed on that particular server will appear right here. So let's say that you're interested to find SQL Server uh, port, for instance, SQL test. You need to click on SQL test. Go to TCP IP. As you can see right here, the protocols are open. So either you can double click TCP IP or right click and go to properties. So let's click. As you can see, the TCP IP properties are open. So we're gonna go ahead and click IP addresses. And you need to go all the way down to all IP all IP all right here. So once you're at IP all tab, you will see two rows. One is TCP IP dynamic ports and other is TCP IP, TCP port. So the first row is basically if your SQL server is using dynamic port, it'll be right here. In my case, it's 9222. That is my SQL server dynamic port. My SQL server is using, using uh, TCP, uh, TCP dynamic port. If my SQL Server would be using static port, it would be right here under TCP port in second row. So this is one way to find the port that your SQL Server instance is using. Let's go ahead and use the other method method right here, T-SQL script, and we'll find the port used by SQL Server, a SQL test right here. So let's go ahead, open the script. Let's go through script a little bit. What I'm doing is basically I'm going in registry and uh, reading the same value. When we go in SQL Server Configuration Manager, it basically reads from the registry. So in my script right here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and get the SQL Server instance name in right here. And then up here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the SQL Server TCP port that SQL Server is using. Basically, whenever you go and look at the uh, port that you want it, uh, um, that your SQL Server is using, it is going to go in registry and get that value for you. And that's exactly what we're doing up here. And we're using extended store procedure right here, XP underscore uh, registry read. This is the store procedure that we're using to read the value. So let's go ahead and uh, run this script and let's see that if this script output shows the same port that we looked at using SQL Server Configuration Manager. So expand this. As you can see that the SQL Server instance name is dynamic AX dev, that is my server name, and SQL TEST test, that is my SQL Server instance name, and SQL Server port number is 9. Two, two, two. Now let's verify that whether this port is basically correct or not. First I need to uh, find out uh, up here that uh, the IP address of this particular server and then we'll be using IP address and this port number and see that if we connect to SQL test instance. So I'm going to go ahead and open command line. So my IP address is 192.168.1.45. So we're gonna go ahead and use that.
and you put comma and put the port number right here so let's see if we connect to the same SQL Server instance as you can see we're connected using IP address and the port number so let's expand the databases expand the databases it is the same SQL Server instance so basically uh, this is how you check SQL Server port using SQL Server configuration manager and using T SQL script and I hope this video helps